Good morning, my brothers and my sisters. Welcome back. Welcome back to another word of encouragement, your health tip and a prayer with Dr. Deborah Williams, aka Dr. Debs. God has empowered me with knowledge, wisdom, understanding about the body that he made so that I can be used by him as an instrument to help his children for his honor and for his glory. And so with joy, every Monday morning, we come and we present to you a word of encouragement from the Bible, your health tip, from experience, from what science is turning out, from what the Bible says, and a prayer. Let us pray with Bible in hand, holy Bible, strong people. Let us pray to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the Ancient of Days, through Jesus Christ, our darling, our darling High Priest. Our substitute, our surety, the one who died for us under his blood, washed with his blood, covered under his robe of righteousness. Father, we come to you with holy boldness because you have opened up your throne room to us through your son, Christ Jesus. We are not controlled by Satan. We have been freed by Jesus, filled with your Holy Spirit, washed with the blood. We have received justification because we broke your law and jesus paid the price now we are to be lawful citizens studying your word and by the power of your holy spirit we are to walk in agreement to the word of god christ said if you love me keep my commandments we thank you lord god for the angels who are here ministering unto us they are indeed ministering spirits who have been sent to help us and guide us on the narrow road that goes through the straight gate that leads to everlasting life Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your blood, your merits, and your righteousness. This planet called Earth is stained, Father, with your Son's blood, his sweat, and his tears. This Earth, this tiny little dot in your whole creation, has your attention because your children are here who have been deceived by Satan, and you sent a champion to set us free from the wicked one, and whom the Son set free is truly free indeed. So we're marching on in 2023 in the name of Jesus with victory victory to co-labor with jesus to win souls for his kingdom thank you lord god for your blessings in christ's name we pray amen amen now i have been looking at a topic called self-control when i when i examine my patients so i've been a medical missionary so i'm a seventh day adventist medical missionary and from 2020 2017 2017 i finished my doctoral studies and became a naturopathic physician right a doctor who deals with disease prevention and disease cure using natural remedies but more than that i'm a i'm a christian i'm a seven day adventist christian we have something called health reform that we teach the people how to take care of their bodies right so i've been properly trained in nutrition how to use herbs and how to use natural remedies to heal god's children as i take them to jesus and in his name praise the lord in his name watch jesus continue his ministry of healing christ is still with us and he still has disciples on this earth who he has blessed with wisdom knowledge and understanding to help his children so i'm looking at the patients who i work with pay people who i interact with who are sick and we teach the new start platform right it's coming from the book ministry of healing by helen g white under the chapter called the physician and educator and in that book, God tells us the natural remedies that are approved by heaven for his children to use on earth to be in good health and prosper, even as our souls shall prosper. So if you have not yet gotten the book, I implore you today, go and get the book. It's called The Ministry of Healing by Helen G. White, written 1905. She died from 1915, but the knowledge goes on because the Holy Spirit is carrying on the information so God's children can be healthy. Now, on the New Start platform, which is nutrition, a whole food, plant-based diet, exercise, water, sunlight, temperance, air, rest, and trust in God. Of the eight components of what we call the laws of health, one of them is more significant where most people fail. And that one is T for temperance which is self-control, right? How do we put our willpower under the power of God to have self-control and a balanced mind, a, dis a, dis a, dis a disciplined mind? That is where I find most people are failing. So I'm sending out this, this um, taping for you today, but I did a, a PowerPoint presentation and a video which I went into greater details about self-control and how, how does the 
psychologists see it and how they what do they recommend but in all their recommendations they, they don't even believe in god so they're trying to understand human behavior by observing actions and so they have observed that one of the greatest issues we're having now is lack of self-control but they can't give a solution to it because you see they, they've left out god and the the, the, the self-control is a fruit of the spirit of god so if you leave out god you can't teach people about self-control and temperance so here we are this morning we're going to dig into the whole issue of self-control right because god has given to us through the holy spirit to help us to walk in the pathway of righteousness we're going to look at three scriptures we're going to look at acts 24 uh 24 to 26 galatians 5 22 to 25 and second peter 1 5 to 9 starting with acts 24 verse 24 we read from the word of god and after certain days when Felix came with his wife, Dersilia, which was a Jewish, Jewess. He sent for Peter and heard him concerning the faith in Christ. And as he reasoned of righteousness, temperance, and judgment to come, Felix trembled and answered, Go thy way for this time. When I have a convenient season, I will call for thee. He hoped also that money should have been given him of Paul, that he might lose him. Wherefore, he sent for him the oftener and communed with him. Poor Felix. <laughs> Felix thought that he could, use, he could bribe Paul, right? And make Paul give him money so that Paul could be set free. Paul was a man on a mission. And as a missionary for Jesus Christ, if you're going to be bound and you're going to be locked up in prison for the truth, then so be it. Death before this honor in the name of Jesus. Felix couldn't buy out Paul. But every time Paul came to him, Paul was always sharing the gospel of the good news of Jesus Christ. And Paul was emphasizing to Felix the whole issue of the judgment to come. Right? Temperance, that we must exercise self-control. And righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ. Felix never accepted it. And alas, alas, his story didn't end very well. Now we go on to Galatians 5, and we're going to read 22 to 25. The Word of God says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, which is self-control again. Against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with their affections and lust. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the spirit praise the lord it is the holy spirit of god that gives us power to overcome the flesh and to bear his fruit the fruit of the spirit a key one is self-control and then our final scripture comes from second peter we're going to read second peter 1 and i'm going to read from 5 to 9 the word of god says and beside this giving all diligence unto your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge and to knowledge, temperance, self-control. And to self-control, which is temperance, patience. And to patience, godliness. And to godliness, brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness, love. It, it, for if these things be in you and abound, they make you that he shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Nine and last. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and have forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. So here we see Paul giving us a beautiful, it's a step, you know, a step in growth in Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. And he's telling us about diligence and, and faith and, and, and virtue and, and knowledge. But he's saying with all of this, you have to have temperance, you have to have self-control. And you add now to all of that temp, uh, with temp, temperance and self-control, the patience and the, and the godliness and the brotherly kindness and love. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, what are these scriptures saying that can and should help us understand how people, whether rich or poor, can protect themselves from the dangers that greed, covetousness, and the love of money and material things can present to the Christian.
We have to be self-controlled that when God bless us you now with these material things, we don't turn the things into God. We start worshiping the things and forget about God. God blesses people with material things to be used for the building up of his kingdom. Not for selfishness, not for hoarding, but to be used in the ministry. So if you are out there and God has blessed you with money and you are a Christian, you're not supposed to be having it locked up in a no bank account. You're supposed to be sending the money out and helping those who are in ministry so that we can go out on the road and, and give out the Bibles and Bible study and, and win souls for the kingdom. That's what the, the money and the things are supposed to be used for. Unfortunately, so many of us who say we're Christians, we hoard these things until they become a loose around our neck and the devil use it to destroy us. Now, these texts are so rich and filled with a lot of divine injunction regarding how we should live. But notice one common thread in all three scriptures, Acts 24, 24, 26, Galatians 5, 22, 25, 2 Peter 1, 5 to 9. What is the one common thread? It's self-control. It is temperance. Same thing, self-control, temperance. This trait can be particularly difficult when it comes to greed, covetousness, and the desire to own things. I see it every day. I see people come in my office and they're Christians, you know, and they have cancer and they have hoarded and hoard. They, 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 they give away their lives, just working, working, working to, to accumulate things. And when you talk with them about their, their lives, they have not even been generous and kind to God, right? And now they're here and they're dying. They're dying. What caused all that? Covetousness, hoarding, greed. They sold out their souls to get the money and they said that they're Christians. But that's not God's way. That's not God's way, right? Now, only through self control, first of our thoughts and then our actions. Because when we talk about self control, remember you have to control the thoughts. You can't allow the devil to, sit, to send your thoughts anyway. You have to put your thoughts under the control and subjection of the Holy Spirit. So first of our thoughts and then our actions, can we be protected from the dangers of the things we have been talking about, right? Sorry, we can exercise that control only to the degree with which we give ourselves over to the power of the Lord. None of us, none of us on our own can defeat these sinful traits, especially if they long have been cultivated and cherished. We truly need the supernatural working of the Holy Spirit in our lives if we are to gain victory over these powerful deceptions. Remember, we're told by Paul in 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 13, No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. Praise the Lord. So as I was doing my research in putting together this um, video, I, every month, at the end of each month, I do a video report. Reporting on Life Health and Foods Wellness Center, our ministry, on how we performed for the month. Who came in, what diseases we saw. Um, you know, testimonies of healing, sharing of the scriptures. And we report to you, our friends in ministry, we report to you what God is doing. God is still in the healing business. And so if you go to my YouTube channel and type in Dr. Deborah Williams, the EBRA, Dr. Deborah Williams, you'll see um, the first week of January 2023, I did a video looking at the number one problem in the world and the number one problem in the world is a lack of self-control by human beings and interestingly it is confirmed by um, psychologists one of the leading psychologists so they say in the planet his name is Roy Brumeister B-A-U-M-E-I-S-T-E-R a PhD social psychologist right and he says very clearly, self-control has become a hot topic, both for scientists interested in understanding the roots of human behavior and for practitioners who want to help people live healthier lives. So I flesh it out in that um, video presentation that you will find 
um, my video on my website, on my YouTube channel, and on, on my website, www.deborawilliamsja.com, as we flesh out the whole idea of the power of self-control and the lack of self-control. Um, Brahmeister says self-control is the greatest human strength and lack of it is the greatest human weakness. But we have the Holy Spirit, right? So we don't have to succumb to all of this weakness. We have power from the Holy Spirit of God to help us to exercise self-control, discipline, right? Be temperate in all things so that we can be in good health and prosper even as our soul prospers to so the honor and the glory of, of God. Amen? Amen. Now for our health tip, last week we started looking at the immune system. I'm going to continue. Now remember the immune system, we said is the defense system of the body, right? The immune system is made up of complex network of organs, cells, and proteins that fight infection, microbes. The immune system keeps a record of every microbe it has ever defeated, right? In types of white blood cells, we have the B lymphocytes and the T lymphocytes known as memory cells. This means it can recognize and destroy the microbe quickly if it enters the body again before it can multiply and make you feel sick. Such infections like the flu and the, the common cold, right? The COVID-19 virus have to be fought many times because so many different viruses and strains of the virus, right? Of the same type of virus can cause these illnesses. Catching a cold or flu from one virus does not give you immunity against the others. So there are trillions of viruses and bacteria on the planet. But God has given us a super system right called the immune system right it is comprised of white blood cells and antibodies and what we call the complement system the lymphatic system the spleen the bone marrow and the thymus all in your body working beautifully if you are doing what is right to boost the immune system and keep it healthy so if you never heard last week taping you can um you can go back and just look at my website and you will be able to listen to it from last week and then catch up into this week. Last week we spoke about the low nutrient diet, right? The lack of the vitamins and the trace minerals, the macro minerals, I mean acids, fatty acids, stress, low sleep, lack of sleep, and the high glucose from processed sugar, the over processed sugar when you're consuming, destroying your immune system. We spoke about the drugs and all the other factors that are compromising your immune system. Now we want to talk about this week strengthening the immune system. Now, to strengthen the immune system, I'm going to go through some vitamins in particular and some minerals that you want to ensure that you're consuming in your whole food plant-based diet. Vitamin C, right? From foods um, like, for example, berries and <clears throat> your green leafy vegetables. We have the guava. We have the red bell pepper. We have oranges, papaw, strawberries, broccoli, pineapple, right? Alma fruit. All of these things that are very high in vitamin C. Vitamin C is stored in large quantities in your adrenal gland, right? To help to make adrenal hormones. And we need the adrenal hormones for the what we call fight or flight. Give you energy, boost the immune system, protect you from disease, right? Stimulate white blood cell production in the body, right? Antimicrobial. So when we have these microbes trying to destroy us, the immune system is fighting against that to boost you up and keep you in good health. So you want to balance the vitamin C's when you are consuming your meals daily. Vitamin D, really a hormone factor. Not a vitamin, but they call it vitamin D nonetheless. It supports the T cells, right? Protects against pathogen. How do we get vitamin D? The best source is sun, the sunlight. So I try to ensure every day I get a minimum of 30 minutes of sun on my skin. I live in beautiful hot Jamaica, so that's not hard for me to do. But if you're living in a cold country and you can't get that level of sunlight, then go to the health food store and get your vitamin D3. Um, Make sure it's vegan source. You can get the D3 or the D2, right? I take 5,000 international units once a day and that will keep you leveled off until you can go back out in the sun. Very important. Vitamin D is very needed for you to be able to break down and assimilate um, calcium, right? And calcium is a very important mineral to bring the other minerals into your bone and your teeth. So essential and also to break down protein in your diet for you to absorb it properly. 
Vitamin A, which is what we call a fat soluble vitamin. So when you're taking vitamin A, you have to make sure you're taking it with, with meals that have in some healthy fats in it, right? Whether it is avocado with it or your nuts with it or something that has healthy fats in, the, in, in, in it, right? Now, vitamin A is important for structural integrity, right? Um, of the mucosal cells, the sinus cells and the respiratory cells, etc., etc., the lungs. So we got to ensure that we're eating our high vitamin A rich foods. So, you know, your, your orange, um, your orange uh, vegetables, like your, your pumpkin and your, your, your carrots, your dark green leafy vegetables, you need the vitamin A to boost the immune system. Zinc, the most important trace mineral for the immune system, very protective against virus. And we know we get zinc from eating our, especially our um, pumpkin seed, right? We can get our zinc from eating our pumpkin seeds, some grains, some nuts. We get our zinc. We want to get the zinc from natural, natural sources. But if you're not sure that you're eating a balanced meal to get your zinc, then go to the health food store, get your, get your zinc supplement, make sure it's plant-based, and you take about um, maybe 30 milligrams per day, and that should cover you, right? But remember, whenever you're taking zinc, it has to be balanced with selenium. And the best, the best source of selenium is Brazil nuts. You eat... Two Brazil nuts per day with your zinc supplement and your balanced plant-based meal and you should be good to go. Now, garlic is awesome. Garlic is such a beautiful gift from God as it relates to an uh, immune um, stimulant, an uh, immune booster, garlic. But raw is best as the heat will inactivate the sulfuric enzymes, thus um, diminishing the antibiotic effect of the garlic. So you want to you want to crush the garlic and then leave it leave it for about 10 minutes right so it releases the oils and then you sprinkle that now on your bean stew or your salad and then you eat it up I, I love garlic and if you can't get that then go to the health food store and buy the the garlic supplement make sure the capsule is made from um a vegan capsule right gelatin free capsule and you go to go garlic helps so um, it's a potent uh, killer of, of viruses and fungus, bacteria, yeast, and even mold. Garlic is also very useful for lowering your blood pressure, right? And it helps to kill parasites in the body. So garlic is one of my go-to. Always have to have in my meals every day. We have some other um, natural remedies that we can use to boost the immune system. One is called olive leaf. It's, a, it's the actual leaf of the olive tree. Olives, the leaf from the tree antiviral to protect the immune system so you can use the olive leaf and make tea with it right and that will help to boost your immune system the oregano oil is very very good also we have something called elder flowers or the elderberry there's a tree called elderberry but the flowers from the the tree the plant the leaves are also good to make tea helping to boost your immune your immune system i like to take the elderberry tea or the elderberry syrup um unsweetened elderberry and I take that with vitamin C. If I find any little flu that seems to be lurking around me, and within a day or two, it's gone, right? Papa, papa is loaded with vitamin C, right? It also has potassium and it has um, vitamin B, vitamin B, the folate, vitamin B9, folate in it, right? One papa per day will give you 147% of the recommended daily um, intake for for vitamin C so papa is powerful so log on to your papa we have a herb called astragalus astragalus um, multiple studies provide strong evidence for the role of zinc in the protection against what we call oxidative stress in several diseases right which is high levels of inflammation so astragalus is excellent astragalus is powerful and you wanna you want to ensure that if you are coming down with the, what do you call it, the, the triple demic, COVID, liquor plus, flu hit you and you're having respiratory issue and sinus is draining, well, get on these things. Broccoli. Broccoli is very high in vitamin A, C, and E. Vitamin A, C, and E are natural antioxidant vitamins. They help to boost your immune system and fight free radicals trying to destroy your cells. Remember, over 37.2 trillion cells and more in your body. So you have to eat right and balance your exercise and get your sunlight and get your rest and trust in God, right? Cook. When you're preparing the broccoli dough, don't overcook it. Just barely steam it, right? 
so that you can preserve the nutrients and lightly steam it when you're about to eat it. Red bell pepper, or in Jamaica we call it sweet pepper. Healthy for the skin, healthy for the eyes, rich in vitamin C. I, when I'm cooking my bean stew, when I finish, when I turn the stove off, I put a lot of bell pepper and I eat up that with my meals. It is absolutely delicious. Zinc is also very good for decreasing inflammation in the body right so i love um ginger i love to use ginger in my if i'm making my smoothies i put some ginger you can have ginger tea right even when you're doing your stew you can grate some ginger in there because ginger is an excellent um herb for helping to boost your immune system apples apples are high in vitamin a vitamin e b1 b2 right has something called pectin which is a type of fiber that makes prebiotic in your gut right remember over 70 percent of your immune system is in your gut so you want to be eating a, a high fiber diet that will make prebiotic right prebiotic from the fiber so you get the probiotic healthy bacteria building up in your gut healthy bacteria boosting up your system right and then of course now your spinach is also very good spinach raw is best when it comes to spinach or lightly steam it right it enhances the vitamin a so you can you can absorb it better um in your in your diet and so we want to be in a whole food plant-based diet right and ensuring that we have our fiber getting into the system and remember stay on the new start program nutrition whole food plant-based diet exercise water sunlight temperance air rest trust in god these are the eight laws of health and also remember that is only a guide because you have a you have to have an attitude of gratitude towards god and your fellow brothers and sisters we are to take care of each other so move away from the selfishness and the and the greed and the covetousness move towards the giving and sharing and loving we own nothing on this earth everything we have we're stewards of it it all belongs to god and when God has blessed us, he has blessed us to be a blessing to the world. Now, as I, I told you guys from August 26, 2022, at Life, Health and Foods Wellness Center, we no longer charge for consultations. So we rely on, on your generosity and you open up your heart, your bowels of mercy to send in your donations and contributions. And if you are hearing me and you're in Canada, America, England, Africa, because now I'm told the program is being aired in Africa and Canada, so I'm grateful for the radio station bringing it to these countries and other stations, I'm told, are now taking our program because they are logging in to the program and they are also playing our word of encouragement, held up in a prayer on their radio stations. So God will carry the message out. You see, we are, we're servants, you know, but the Holy Spirit is there and the angels are there and they're opening up the platform. So when we send out WhatsApp videos and we do YouTube videos, the Holy Spirit carries it to God's children so that they can get the good news and learn to take care of their bodies which is the temple of the holy spirit so we thank you for listening please move in the direction of action so that we all can be in good health and prosper as our soul prosper for the honor and the glory of god amen let us close in prayer father we love we love your love we love you we thank you that god so loved us that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life thank you father for sending christ for us he's our big brother our champion Yes, his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father. He's the Prince of Peace. We praise the Lord. And so the enemy has come to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus Christ was sent to give us life and to give it to us more abundantly. Help us, Lord, to take care of our bodies so we can enjoy the abundant life. And soon and very soon, when Christ shall burst the eastern sky and come back for his children, we pray. Whether we are in the first group, those who are dead shall rise first, or the second group, those who are alive shall meet him in the air, and forever we shall be with Jesus. And one day he shall take all of us to you, and we shall meet our Abba Father, the ancient of days. We are looking forward to it, Lord. So thank you for your word. Thank you for the Holy Spirit, the angels who are here ministering unto us. Bless all of your children in the hearing of the voice of your daughter. It's our prayer with thanksgiving. Forgive us of our sins and cleanse us, Lord, from all unrighteousness. Is our prayer with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So there you have it, my brothers and sisters, friends and loved ones. If you want to contact us, our number is 876-878-8867, 876-326-4650, or 876-306-4280. Send in your donations. Call and make your pledges. Go on our website, www.debrawilliamsja.com. 
and just click on donate and help us as we co-labor with Jesus to win souls for his kingdom. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. And please remember, Maranatha, Christ is coming soon. God bless you all. Much love from Dr. Debs.